We're here in the varsity room at Ray Tompkins House, home to the Yale Athletics Department with Will Zhang out of Great Falls, Virginia, a Rhodes Scholarship winner and a member of the Yale Lightweight crew team. And first, congratulations on, on winning the Rhodes. Thanks. That's got to be a great thrill. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's something that I've been working on for a while. It's something I've been sort of looking at for a long time. And to have it all kind of come together is it's just been really satisfying. And I'm really looking forward to the next few years at Oxford. Well, let's talk about that for a minute. I want to get back to how you got the Rhodes in a little bit. but. It is coming together because you are on the lightweight crew team and, you know, Oxford is quite a place to row. Yeah. So it's got to be pretty exciting for you that there is that athletic um, meshing as well. Yeah. So, I mean, I was looking at what I wanted to do after I graduated and, uh, and I work in physics. And so sort of the big next hurdle for someone who wants to do physics is to get a Ph.D. And though I sort of know some of what I want to do, I wanted to expand my background in some math. And so I was looking at master's programs and and in the U.S., what mostly happens is you go straight to your Ph.D., and so you do that for like four to seven years. And that's like a, that's like a big time commitment right off the bat. And, and there was some other stuff I wanted to do. And so I was looking in Europe, and, and so I was looking in the U.K., obviously, because English is I'm probably best working in that language. And, uh, and then it just turns out that th there's some people doing great work in my field at Oxford, and it happens to also be another place where I can row. It's probably you know, the best postgraduate rowing community anywhere in the world. So I'm like, it's just these two things came together in a really great way. What specifically are your interests in physics? Yeah, so I work in this sort of like new emerging field in, in physics called quantum information. And uh, what we're trying to do is take a lot of what we learned about how the world works uh, in new physics of quantum mechanics and apply it to electronics and sort of build computing components based on these really weird behaviors in physics that can do all sorts of new things. Now you've been, we're talking about where you're going kind of post-graduation, but you've been at some interesting places along the way too. Why don't you tell us of some of the stops you've made? So, this, well this past summer one of the places I, I was working at uh, ETH in, in Zurich, which is a, so like a, one of the largest, I think it is the largest German-speaking technical university. And uh, I was working there with a guy who worked, uh, did sort of his postdoctoral work in uh, the lab I work at here, and, and Yale uh, has, this, has, has a couple great labs in, in quantum information that have, in the last like 10, 15 years, sort of produced a lot of like really seminal, like very important new developments. And so a lot of the guys who worked on that as postdocs around 2000 have now gone off to start their own labs. And one of them is, is this guy in Switzerland. And so it, it was like a really young environment and like they really started up everything new and they're getting a lot of sort of uh, support from the university. And so that, so that was a fun place to work. As your ex experience here at Yale, um, obviously very busy, but has it stacked up and been what you thought it would be when you decided to make your choice to come here as an undergraduate? Yeah, I think, I think it's turned out really, really well, and so, sort of for kind of tangential reasons to exactly what I'm studying. So I went to, I, I'm, as you said, I'm from Great Falls, uh, which is sort of just a little bit outside of Washington, D.C., and I went to this, uh, this public magnet school. Um, you take this, like, it's science and tech high school, and you took this test, and you got in, and um, and so like a lot of, I was, I was also obviously looking at Caltech and MIT and sort of these like more technologically focused places. Um, but I also wanted to row and sort of rowing and sort of like the other things I was interested in in terms of getting a more liberal education are the reasons I came to Yale. And the fact that it also happens, happens to be really great in this one particular field of physics, even though maybe their whole physics department doesn't stack up with the resources of MIT, made it sort of exactly the place that worked out really well for me. Talk about um, the process that goes into applying for, interviewing, and getting ultimately the Rhodes Scholarship. It is, yeah, as you say, a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it took a while. I, I guess I like, started writing my essays like this past June while, while I was in Switzerland and, uh, and sort of thinking about what I wanted to do much, much uh, before that. And so there's, uh, it's, it's, it's actually sort of like a funny application because you, know, you submit your, basically your whole life story, you know, in, in, but in, in, in like a resume form and then you're in all your grades and, and you have uh, eight people who write references for you, um, which for me ranged from my physics professors, my Andy Card, uh, my rowing coach, uh, liter people, people I've taken literature classes with, like sort of as much sort of variety as I could find. Um, and then you only write about a thousand words, or maybe it was 1,500 words on uh, what you want to do, why you want to do it, and why you should do it. So this is like sort of like very succinct. Um, and so I you know, put that together. I, uh, I applied to Yale first, and Yale, Yale endorses you. And so I got to go through a lot of practice interviews here, and, and that was great. Um, and then 
I flew down to, uh, just before Thanksgiving, the, the weekend before, I flew down to, to uh, Atlanta because uh, the way you apply is it's split up into 16, the U.S. gets 32 Rhodes, Rhodes Scholarships every year. Um, and it's split up into 16 regions and they select two from each. Uh, and it's not exactly by state, like California is split in half, they like try and make things pretty, pretty evened out. So, so I applied it from Virginia, which is where I'm from, uh, and that's what was with Georgia this year. And so I went down there and I met with 14 of the, uh, there were 14 finalists from my region. Uh, two, two, two friends of mine from high school, actually. Uh, one who goes to William Mary and one who graduated from here last year. Um, got to meet all of them, did the interviews. I was the first one in the morning, <laughs> which, was, which was fun, and, and all the committee members. Um, and then it's a kind of a funny setup because it, so you do your single half an hour interviews on Saturday, and everybody goes serially. But then they tell you they're going to announce that night, but you don't know when. And so everyone finishes at like 4.30. And then we just kind of sat around in this room outside waiting for them to decide. We like played cards. <laughs> and, uh, and then they came out and they were like, well, <laughs> these two, uh, two, two, one. So, and that, and that was, they called my parents. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's a good conversation starter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like Guys, that. I won the Rhodes Scholarship. <laughs> um, looking at the rest of your time here at Yale, uh, as a member of the Lightweight Crew team, as a student, we focused on your postgraduate plans. What do you What do you want to do and get done before you leave here? Before I leave here, gosh. Well, so having all of this postgraduate stuff out of my mind makes it a really great chance to focus on some of the things that I have here. And and even though Oxford has a really great graduate rowing community, there, there's nothing like the sort of collegiate team rowing atmosphere that you get at sort of the best the best schools in the U.S. There's there's no league like it in the world. Um, and so I'm I'm really excited to sort of put myself into, into that as the spring season comes up a lot and also sort of just take a couple of random classes that, that I'm sort of into. But, you know, we haven't, we haven't won yet. I mean, so my, my freshman year, uh, I had an undefeated season. Uh, so the Lightweight Crew has a separate freshman team, and I'm really glad we still have that. It's a really great way to sort of, like, bond with your classmates. And, uh, and, that, and that, you know, if we showed a lot of promise in my class, in my class, and, and the, but we haven't won the sprint since then. Uh, we, you know, we got third last year. Um, and, and I think everyone has sort of taken, taken what we've learned from these last two years, sort of like not quite getting what we wanted. And we've devoted, devoted ourselves to a much better summer this past summer than we have had before. And a lot of the younger, younger guys are like really, really stepping up. Our captain, Andrew Hackinson, has been like a large part of putting this together. And, uh, and just the, the, the work ethic of the team is, is so much better than, I, than uh, it's, it's just great. It's, it, like, as a senior coming in, I know I have only one year left. And so I know I want to put all this sort of like extra effort into it. But the sophomore guys are like pushing me to do the extra stuff. Like they're, they're, they're doing exactly what I'm doing. And, and that's just like a really, really great atmosphere. All right, well, we thank you for taking some time to join us today as the semester winds to a close. And on behalf of everyone at Yale Athletics, again, congratulations on the roads. Thanks, thank you. All right, that's Will Zhang, member of the Yale Lightweight Crew Team and Rhodes Scholarship winner.